Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand distance vector routing algorithm part 2. So, the first part has already been uh, explained in our previous video. There, we have taken this example and we have considered uh, the first step of the distance vector routing has been done. And these are the uh, routing tables that are obtained on these corresponding routing table, uh, corresponding routers. So, if you haven't watched this video, so where we have discussed about these routing tables, distance vector routing, please watch that video and come back here because without understanding what we have discussed in this video, you may not be able to understand understand what we are going to discuss in this video hope you got uh, uh, hope you have watched that video we are uh, discussing this concept and every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now the second step each router exchanges its distance vector obtained in step one with the neighbors so for uh, for example uh, we will discuss uh, about this router a so uh, this is the table that has been generated by the router a by the router a so what happens is the exchange of distance vectors uh, of its neighbors will be done at each and every router means A's distance vector will be exchanged to B, D and C and B's distance vector will be exchanged to A and C because they are the routers which are directly connected. Similarly, D's, route, uh, D's distance vector will be exchanged with C and A because they are directly connected and the C's distance vector will be exchanged to D, A and B. Okay, so this is how the exchanges are done. Once the exchanges are done, now what happens? Now what happens is, see, this is the part that we will try to understand. So uh, the exchange is done. So this is the uh, routing table at A, previous table at A. This is the previous table at A. This is the table, the same table I have taken there. And uh, on this previous table, uh, uh, to this router, to this router, these are the distance vectors that are, uh, that we got from its uh, immediate neighbors. It is B, C and D. So these are the values of distances of at B, C and D. Uh, that we have obtained in the previous step so those values will be obtained at a now using these values the routing table will again generate using those uh, values the routing table will again generate a new routing table so how that happens that is very important to understand so how that happens is here in order to generate a new routing table what are the uh, what are the possibilities that we have is so again we have to consider from distance from a to a a to b a to c and a to d and uh, the extra knowledge that we have previously we have the knowledge of its immediate neighbors but now we uh, we have the distance vectors of all the routers all uh, the new distance vectors that are obtained by all its immediate uh, immediate neighbors okay so now now what are the for example if you take uh, if if you want to find the distance vector from a to b what about a to a is it required uh, a to a is again the same it is zero the distance is zero and the next hop is a because the packet that is there if it wants to transmit to itself so it the distance is zero so on this router it is there and it, it it wants to transmit it to itself so the distance is zero and the next hop is also uh, the same router if the router wants to transmit the data from a to b then what are the different possibilities that we have uh, based upon the knowledge that we have okay so here the possibilities are a transmits the data to b and from b it will it uh, the the possibility is from b transmit the data to b the possibility is from b transmit the data to b so it is so the, we have the distance from a to b and from b we are asking the content uh, we are asking the packet we are asking the b to transmit it to b similarly the other possibility is transmit the data from a to b because as the destination is b transmit the so here if you want to transmit the data to b from the previous table the distance is 12 and from b and from b 
we are asking it to transmit it to B. This step states that one. So the next step is A to C. Transmit the data from A to C, from A to C, and from C we will request the C to transmit the data to B. So these are the possibilities that we have, right? And the other possibility is A to D. Transmit the data from A to D, and from D transmit the data to B. Okay. So now we will take each and every case and we will find the distance uh, uh, and we will find the distance and from that we are going to find the minimum possible distance. Okay. Let's try to understand this. A to B, this is the previous table data. A to B, we have a distance of 12. A to B, the distance of 12. And from B to B, b to b this is b right a b c d this is b b to b this is the knowledge that the b has this distant vector is the knowledge that the b has by sharing that knowledge with a we can now have the knowledge how what is the distance of b from b as we are uh, transmitting the data from a to b so the b from b the uh, at b it is having a, a distance of zero okay so the total distance is 12 transmitting the data from a to b and asking the b to transmit it to b so it is going to take a distance of 12 the next step is a to c a to c what is the distance a to c it is 9 c here it is 9 okay i'll take another pin okay a to c the distance is 9 the distance is 9 from c to b c to b the distance is 1 so the total distance is 10 and similarly a to d a to d the distance is 4 and from d to b d to b the distance is infinity infinity plus anything adding something to infinity is again going to be infinity so the minimum distance the minimum distance uh, from a to b so among all these possibilities what is the minimum distance the minimum distance is 10 and to which node the to achieve this distance of 10 to which node the packet has to be transmitted understand this point we have obtained the minimum distance at this point at this step it means that in order to transmit the data from a to b the minimum distance is done for that transmission to happen the next hop is c the next hop is c why we got b c d because they are the they are the, b c d or the nodes uh, or the nodes which are directly connected to a that's why we got bcd that's why we got the distance vectors of bcd so using that knowledge we have again we are again updating the routing table that is already existing previously b to b the distance is 12 now it has been updated it is getting updated to 10 we are getting the shortest distance right we are getting the shortest distance previously the next hop is b but here in order to transmit the data so let's check the diagram once see here based upon that a to b it is 12 a to b it is 12 but if you transmit the data from a to c and from c to b it is 10 so the next hop is c the next hop is c in the updated table try to get that point okay so in the updated table okay so now now it is getting updated to c okay the next chance is how to uh, what is the shortest possible distance uh, from a to c again a to c a to c means the possibilities are again all the possibilities will be there a to b a to sorry a to c or a to b uh, and uh, from a to b this is b and from here b to c from here asking the b to transmit it to c and the next possibility is a to c 
and free from here it is C to C and the next possibility is A to D and from here we are asking the D to transmit it to C so A to B A to B is again 12 uh, plus B to C B to C B to C means it is 1 so the total distance is 13 similarly A to C A to C is 9 A to C is 9 plus C to C C to C means C to C means it is 0 so the distance is 9 and A to D A to D the distance is 4 and from D to D to C D to C it is 2 D to C it is 2 what is the total distance it is 6 among these three which one is the minimum uh, what is the minimum value the minimum value is 6 so for the data to get transmitted from A to C the minimum distance is 6 and the hop the next hop is D this is where the this is where the distance is getting the minimum value so for this minimum value to which hop it has to be transmitted it has to be transmitted to D hop D the router D see here so for better understanding we will again go to the diagram and see so from A to C in order to transmit the data from A to C we have one of the possibilities uh, from A to B and from there B to C it is going to take 13 there first step the next possibility is A to C and C to C a to C is 9 and C to C is 0. So it is going to take a distance of 9. Second step. A to C, uh, the next, the next uh, uh, possibility is from A to D and D to C. It is A to D is 4 and D to C is 2. So the minimum among these three possible distances is from A to D and D to C. So the minimum distance is 6. The minimum distance is 6 and uh, 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 the next hop is the next hop is D that is what we have to update it in the new routing table okay in the new routing table okay we'll take this space again in the new routing table okay so uh, the next c2 uh, the next hop is going to be d okay so the next uh, possibility is next possibility is uh, a to d we are left with okay it is uh, for a to d what are the different possibilities that we have it is from a to b plus b to d asking the b to transmit it to d as we have the knowledge about these uh, uh, distance vectors of b we were able to think in that way okay and the next one is a to c and asking c to transmit it to d and the next one is a to d and asking d to transmit it to d the possibility is a to b first one a to b is 12 12 plus b to d b to d is infinity so it is going to be infinite and a to c it is 9 a to c it is 9 c plus d uh, c to d sorry it is uh, c to d is 2 9 plus 2 it is 11 and the next possibility is a to d a to d is 4 a to d is 4 and uh, d to d is 0 d to d is uh, 0 so the shortest distance is 4 and it has to be transmitted through D okay shortest distance is 4 and it has to be transmitted it through D okay so this is the updated updated routing table at A so for better practice what you have to do is take this diagram take this diagram and you have to generate you generate here a to d means the best possibility is from a to d it is this way it is possible this way it is possible but the better way is this one okay so uh, what you what you do is please try to take this diagram 
take this diagram this diagram we have obtained in the first step of our algorithm and this uh, try to repeat this on each and every router so the same step that we have obtained here so using this knowledge you try to generate the uh, routing algorithm at b c and d also okay so this is how the routing tables will get updated will get updated and uh, how many times will this routing algorithm will executed will get executed how many times the step 2 will get iterated so once this will get updated again the distance vectors of each and every router will get again exchanged and again it will run the same step how many steps that does it will uh, does the second step will iterate so that is very important to understand how many times will it iterate is uh, it will iterate for n minus 2 number of times n minus 2 number of times so what does that mean is what what does that n means is it is the number of routers how many number of routers are there 1 2 3 4 so uh, this is going to iterate for n minus 2 which is 2 2 times this will get iterated which it means 2 times the distance vector routers will get exchanged the same steps will be run at each and every router two times that process is done how how we are going to decide that it is two times the best the, the point that we have to understand is for every for any router to transmit its data to any other router on the network the maximum number of the maximum number of edges that it has to be transmitted is in uh, for the shortest path what i am telling is in order to transmit the data in the shortest possible way the number of edges that a router has to be transmitted uh, from source to destination is n minus n minus one okay so let's try to understand for example a wants to transmit the data to b a wants to transmit the data to b means the possible way is it is a to b which is 12 no it is not the shortest path it is from a to c and c to b it is 10 it is also not the shortest path and the shortest uh, the other path is a to d d to c d to uh, c to b a to d is 4 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 1 7 so the shortest path is this is the shortest path so the maximum number of the uh, the maximum number of uh, uh, edges that it, it it has to transmit is uh, maximum is n minus one it is three okay it is n minus one which is three so that is the reason why the second step is going to iterate for two times and the first step how many times the routing table is getting updated try to understand this point the routing table initially the routing tables are empty in the first step these are the values that we obtained means the routing table got updated one time in the second step it is going to iterate for n minus two times n minus two times means it is two times it is going to be iterated total how many times the routing table is getting updated it is three times how it is going to be uh, how we are going to tell that is for any router to transmit its data to another router the utmost the utmost number of the utmost number of uh, uh, vertices that it has to get transmitted is uh, n minus 1 okay n minus 1 so that is the reason why so the number of times the routing table will get updated is uh, it is uh, three times in our case okay so this is all about distance vector routing algorithm hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get